Hello, users. So I have some hot scoopage. Earlier today, I put out a video about the Elizabeth Warren campaign doing a little bit of cringy shit. They're, they're cringing out. Um, and you can check this video out over here. I'm going to pause it because it's kind of creepy. And um, so we waited all day and Elizabeth Warren was staying silent on the issue until now. So here we have the official response of Elizabeth Warren, and needless to say... Uh, not good. Believe me, not good. So, as you can see here, Bernie and I met for more than two hours in December 2018 to discuss the 2020 election, our past work together, and our shared goals, beating Donald Trump. Taking back our government from the wealthy and the well-connected, and building an economy that works for everybody. <laughs> wow, okay, good stuff. So, first of all, that's empirically incorrect. I mean, she may have discussed that, but she doesn't believe in any of those things in any sort of actual, like, substantive, substantive fashion. She's just a little cringy. You know, why doesn't she cancel all student debt? Eh. Who cares? You know what I'm saying? Why doesn't she want to have a Medicare for All system now? Why does she want to play around with people's lives? I don't know. That's not me. I'm I'm not her. Among the topics that came up was what would happen if Democrats nominated a female candidate. I thought a woman could win. He disagreed. I have no interest in discussing the blah blah blah. So um, I mentioned this in the previous video. He did not disagree. It's incorrect. In fact, I forgot to bring this up um, in my little thing. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do this on the on the fly here. Um, but he actually responded. If you want, you can just go watch the um, the previous video where I mentioned it there. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna. I'm detracting from myself, but he basically came out and said it was a lie. Um, we also have the campaign manager um, also uh, say it was a lie. So I'm gonna play. Oh, geez. I'm gonna play the video here, um, and we'll see what this is. This is an official response. Our response is that it is a lie. Uh, it is. Uh, it's. You have four anonymous sources, as I read in the CNN. None of them went on record. I don't believe Elizabeth Warren has commented on it or said it directly. It is because. It this is beforehand, by the way. It is a lie. Bernie Sanders has always fought and stood for women and women's rights. You go back to 1988 when he was urging women to run for president and believe that a woman could be and would be president of the United States. You go back to 2015 when he was urging none other than Elizabeth Warren herself to run for president. Now you have three weeks before the Iowa caucus, you have some anonymous sources out there who want to throw bombs and suggest that Bernie Sanders is someone he isn't. You get it. It's politics. This isn't beanbag. People want to come at us. Everyone's coming at us right now. Come at us. That's fine. But don't spread lies about Bernie Sanders. We know who he is. There you go. That's it was a little bit out of sync, but you got the gist. Uh, here is another clip. I did not listen to this one, but I'll pop it on. We need to hear directly from Senator Warren on this. Of course we do. We need to hear from her directly, but I, what, I know what she would say. That it is not true. That it is a lie. So I, mean, I, I welcome her coming out and disputing. So this is actually interesting. I didn't see this earlier when I when I bookmarked this. This is actually interesting. So they actually have more faith in Elizabeth Warren than she, you know, she, as we can see just here, she just said, I think a woman could be Donald Trump. Bernie disagreed. Now, that's the thing is it's so cryptic. Why not say... Bernie didn't say that a woman can't beat Donald Trump. Bernie just disagreed that it would be easy or said that, you know, it, it's not worth the risk or something like that. You can you can respond to this without lying is the problem. But she chose to lie. Um, and that's just honestly a little depressing. So let's play the rest of this. We're coming out and disputing this and say, putting this to rest. You have four anonymous sources who have commented on the story. I, I don't hate, hate to get into a critique of the media here with the media, but these are the kinds of stories we get frustrated about. If you want to make an accusation of this caliber and this nature, then put your name to it. But you have four anonymous sources saying stuff that isn't true. There are only two people in the room. It was Elizabeth Warren, it was Bernie Sanders. They both believe that that wasn't what happened. So unless she wants to suggest otherwise, but actually I don't think she's gonna do it. Do you think we 
that's sad. That's on. That honestly makes me a little sad. I, I was. I went into this video like a little amp set. A little, you know, it, it's disappointing. Like, personally, I was never really a big fan of Elizabeth Warren. Um, I knew that when she was actually getting serious about running against Bernard, I knew from that point that she was basically kind of a waste. Um, I was I was iffy about whether or not it was worth it having her in the debates just for, like, the extra firepower. But then she started just trying to cringe out on Medicare for All. And it's just depressing, honestly. And it's, you know, it's sad to see that, you know, the Bernie campaign, the one thing I, I if... I'm going to offer a critique of Bernie's campaign. They're too nice. Um they need to go they need to go hard on this because now that Elizabeth Warren has decided I am going to destroy all my credibility. Um you know, it it what do we do from this point on? So I I'm going to say boo on Elizabeth Warren and I want to end with this video. I ended it with, uh, I ended this video, um, I ended the previous video with this and it's just important to reiterate. The real issue is not whether you're black or white, whether you're a woman or a man. In my view, a woman could be elected president of the United States. The real issue is whose side are you on? Are you on the side of workers and poor people or are you on the side of big money and the corporations? The real issue is not whether you're black